Hi and welcome back. As you can see, I prepared a Gantt chart here using Microsoft Excel. If you don't have MS Project application, you can just maximize your spreadsheet and make a simple Gantt chart like this. As you can see, uh, the project start here can be changed. Uh, and all, of, all the dates here for updating on its own. And then the week display can also be changed depending on the dates that you want to present. That's it. And uh, the progress can also be tracked. For example, this, uh, this is already 100%. You can track that and the chart is also updating. So if you want to learn this uh, simple Gantt chart, we will, we will start it right now with a blank workbook. So let's start with the headings. So I'll just copy the headings from my original example and just paste it here. And then make the font like 14, font size 14, and then make the width like uh, 18. And then this part is like six. And then merge it. And then I will use, use that later on and then make it as center, that's it. Now on this part is the dates. So I'm gonna be working on this cell and I wanted to get the date but the format will be a number. For example, January 1, I want to get the 1, 2, 3, and so on. And to proceed on that, let me just make a project start here with a changing cell uh, colored in green. And then put some sample date on it, January 1. I will use the custom format of date, months, and year for that. It, make it the center and then just make a reference from it that's it I'm going to format it with uh, just a day a single D and that's it and enter. and then um, on the succeeding days just this one plus one copy and then paste it and then uh, let me just work on the first seven days of the week and uh, make this column with a five make it the center and that's it now on this part is the day like uh, the name of the day monday tuesday wednesday and so on and to get that let me use the formula text here and the value is this date comma the format will be edd and that's it we have a friday here with the three letters but i want to have just the first letter of the day so i will put a left formula on it then comma just the first letter which is one that's it copy and paste it and then on this part is just the first day of the week and i will just make a reference from it and then just copy this format and then uh, remove the color merge it and left in that that's it then uh you copy you copy all of it paste it here for the second week just make sure this is updated just plus one and then copy it, this again and paste it for the next week so let me just stop with the first three weeks of the day from the project start so that's it then let me work on the details on this part so i'm gonna copy the example here for the task and the uh, dates so paste it here and then make it like 14 again and then just make uh this format the format of the dates without the color remove the color and on this part is the duration so the duration will be in days because I'm still working on other parameters like the weeks, months, and uh, hours. So uh, let me just uh, use the days here and I'm gonna use the if formula and the or. So to do that, I'm writing the if now and then the or. And in this, uh, the first logical test is that if this is blank equals to blank, and also this one is, or this finish date is equal to blank, Close the logical test. If this is true, the value will be blank. If this is false, the value will be open parenthesis finish date minus the start date plus one, and that's it. Enter it, and then copy and paste it, and then make it a center, and that's the equivalent duration in days. So that's it. Let me work on this part for the completion. This will be a percentage. So let me just put a zero for on this uh, cells. And then just copy it here because I will make a data bar on this portion, which is equivalent to the progress. So let me just hide this by a custom format with three semicolon. That's it. 
And then this is highlighted now. I will go to conditional formatting and choose data bars. Just, just choose the first data bar on that uh, field. And then that's it. Then uh, this is highlighted again. And I will go to conditional formatting, manage the rule, edit the rule. And then there's a type there. Instead of automatic, I will use number and the, the minimum value is zero while the maximum value is one. So that the range will be zero to 100% and that's it, okay. Okay, so let me just test it. If this working, it's now working like that. 90 and this one is like uh, 50 and this one is also working. So that's it. Uh, we're finished on this part. And let me just go back to this because I want my day to start on a Monday, every week to start on a Monday, regardless of the project start. And to do that, I will just make it as a table and name it as project start here. It's now saved on the name manager under the formula uh, toolbar here or ribbon here. And then I will just make... Uh, some editing on the formula i will have to use the weekday minus the weekday and the, the serial number will be the project start and then comma the return type will be three because i wanted to start it on monday but it depends on your preference if you want uh, a sunday or tuesday or wednesday it depends on you if you want that you can choose another return type number on it but uh, in this uh, example i want to use Monday, so it's a three, and that's it. It's now updated here. Regardless of the changes here in the project start, uh, the week here, the first day of the week will always be Monday. So that's it. Um, we go back to January 1, and that's it. Now uh, we're going to work on the make this as the week being changed. Like, uh, for example, you want to display. A uh, week before your project start or a week after your project starts, a succeeding week after your project start, we can do that by having a, a week display here. Week display, and I have here a changing cell as well in green, which is dependent on the project start. So if it has a value of one, that means in this first week, uh, the project start is. Uh, located in this uh, first week. If it's zero, um, a week before that the project start is reflected here and this one in this area is the project start and so on. So that's it to make that formula. I'm going to amend this part again and make a plus here and then uh, open parenthesis and make a week display as the uh, table uh, format and then minus one times seven days so it's not working because i didn't uh make it as a table so now it's working put a week display here so that's it it's now working so we change it the project start is now located before the presentation date and then if you want the project started here this is the week before that, so you put zero in it. If you want one, just the one. Then the project start is located here. So that's it. It's now uh, being changed over time. The states are changeable now. So that's it. Now we'll work on the color of the cells here. So to do that, let's go with the original schedule here. Uh, let's plot this original schedule in a yellow uh, bar here on this uh, calendar. And to make... Uh, that uh, that bar, we're going to use the conditional formatting, and I'm going to use a formula for that. But I'm writing, uh, in the meantime, the formula here before I go to the conditional formatting. And the formula will be end. So it's end, and uh, it will be this date, greater than or equal to the start. And then the, the second logical test will be this date is less than or equal the finish date and that's it now uh, as you can see it's true or false if this true the cor color of the cell will be yellow if, if it is false there's no color so that's it 
Now, um, I'm going to just fix the anchoring here. I don't want to move the row here. And then, in this part, I don't want to move the column. So, just a single dollar sign for each. And that's it. Now, I'll just return it into 5. And then, copy this formula. I copy the formula here. And then, uh, select all the cells in your chart. And then, I go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula. I paste the formula in the bar. And then, choose the format cell, fill tab. And I choose the yellow color. And that's it. Okay. And it's now working. I will remove this. Now, if you have, let me change the display here. As you can see, it's now updated. Change uh, the display week. Uh, all the yellow bars here will be reflected. So that's it. Let me just go back to one. Then the second part will be to incorporate the progress. So every time there's a progress, there will be a color of green here on your bar. So to do that, uh, we want the completed day to have a 1, for example, 1. On, in this case, this is 100%, so that will be all 1. In this case, 50%, so some of it, half of it will be 1, and then half of it will be 0, like that. So to do that, I will use again the conditional formatting and do some formula here. But before that, let me just have a table again here, like a task, task start for this cell. And this one is task end. And this one is a progress. Progress. So that's the name. That's it. And then I will go to formulas and then name manager. I will just fix the anchoring there. So I'll remove the dollar sign before the row number for the progress. The same with the task end. Remove the dollar sign before the row number and the task start as well. Remove the dollar, dollar sign before the task number and then close it. That's it. Now, we're going to uh, put the formula here. So, the formula is also end. So, it's end. And then, in this first logic, uh, we want the date here to be less than or equal to task start, which is equivalent uh, on the cell, right? And then comma, the next logical test will be this date is less than or equal to not necessarily the task end, but the days complete task start plus the days complete minus one. That's the, the formula in project management. So to do that, we're going to have a task start here and then um, plus the progress, open parentheses progress, which is the name of the progress uh, table here then multiplied by the duration and the duration will be the task end minus the task start and then plus one to include the first day and then minus one so that later on the formula will be at the end a serial number so that's it and then as you can see as you can see it's a true or false uh, answer, but we wanted to have a value of 1 or 0, right? So we'll convert this boolean into a number by having either a double negative here or a 1 multiplied by the formula. I will use 1 multiplied by the formula so that it will become 1 or 0. And then I'll just fix the anchoring here, just this part, single anchoring to uh, lock the row. And then let me just uh, replace this part. That's it. It's one again. And that's it. One 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 zero zero zero. And I think our formula now is working. So I'm gonna copy this formula, and then go to conditional formatting. No, no, not yet. I copied the formula and then highlighted the cell in your chart. Go to conditional formatting and then new rule again. Use a formula. I paste the formula in there. And I choose the format button, a fill tab, and I choose the dark green color. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. All the ones here with answers of one will be filled out with a green color. For example, this one is already 100%. That will be green, all green. And if 
it is like 50%, that's it. All of these are now working like that. So that's it. We're finished on this part. I'm going to remove this, um, bring it back to its original size. So that's it. Now, uh, that's already complete on its own. What we're going to do here just to have is just to have some port formatting, like uh, a border here, and then also um, like uh, some border again. <laughs> like that and then choose a darker color for that make the font like white here and then uh, change the font based on your favorite font and then adjust it and then remove the grid if you want and then just put a project name on it for example my name and then make it a, a lot bigger like uh, 18 maybe just change the color and that's it just have uh, some border uh, on it to separate the chart. So that's it. And that's a simple Gantt chart and spreadsheet that is uh, changeable. For example, the let me change it into May. It's now, the dates are updating, right? If you have to change the week display, even a negative one, you go beyond or over the project start, that, that could be okay. The task is also changeable. You can add the task here. Just make sure to copy all the rows and then add chart here, uh, a task here. And then you can also add some more dates. Just copy the week and then paste it here. And that's it. That's your Gantt chart. And uh, that's it. And I hope you like this. You learned something from it. You can do it on your own. And I'm finished here. I'm done. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time, and thanks.